So you can see the boat is actually quite dirty, so we have a lot of cleaning up to do outside. You can see a moldy green mold here. All the sails, all the deck. Dirty, 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 dirty. Dirt. <laughs> Sand. As you can see. It's yeah. a little bit Beverly Hillbillies, but... Do, 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 do. Well, we're back, Mocus. Don't mind my hair and the sound of my voice. I'm very sick right now. Um, it was a lot of a lot of travel there, but here we are. And first, I mean, we're so excited to be back. The moment we got to Panama, we were excited. But first impressions of the boat are we see some mold. So the camera here, you can see. Oops, you can see. Well, we got some mold to take care of. Some moldy lines. Oh man, but it feels so good to be back. We're back here in Bocas del Toro, Panama from the USA, where we've been for the past few months, working to fill up the cruising kitty, visiting family and friends, and most recently, attending the Annapolis Boat Show, which was a six-day blur of meeting tons of people, attending events, and partying with our fellow Sailing Channel YouTubers. I mean, how are you doing? We left Calico Skies, our boat and home, here at Red Frog Marina, and the big moment, seeing whether our efforts to leave her secure and protected will be rewarded, is finally here. That was a long trip, huh? That was a long trip. But there's the boat. It just feels so good to be here. I can't get over it. It's crazy. It's so crazy. It's like I forgot how quiet it is. Um, like, I mean, I can hear someone's water line coming off the boat, but it's just like serenity. Oh my god. But yeah, I think we have a lot of work ahead of us. <laughs> Look in here. Yeah. You look at the wood. Okay. How she look? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so much like algae and huh? There's so much algae and like mold. What does it smell? It smells cleaner. Nice. Oh. Really clean. I smell mold. Really? Mm-hmm. Instantly. Or gas. That's what I smell. What? I smell wow. it's really cleaner to me. Village or something. I think they clean. Whew. I, it smells quite strong to me. Yeah. Mold. It's mold. Yeah, I got air this big out. Yeah, wow. So there's definitely some cleaning to do. Um but things don't seem too bad in here. When I first walked in, I, I smelled really strong something. I think it's maybe old village stuff, like old gases and stuff, I don't know. Um, more than like mold per se. But there's definitely an odor, so we're gonna open up all the hatches and keep running the AC, and some of the surfaces need wiping. Um, a lot of it looks okay. The one thing we see that's unfortunate is it seems like this settee cushion might have some mold on the actual fabric. Um, some like grayish mold, I don't know. But it feels so good to be home. I completely underestimated how overwhelmingly amazing this would feel. I know Bill feels the same way, but anyway, I'm gonna 
stop talking because I sound sick, I look pretty bad, and I'm just gonna get to work. <laughs> but yeah, we're super happy over here. You can see the boat is actually quite dirty, so we have a lot of cleaning up to do outside. You can see a moldy, green mold here. All the sails, all the deck. Dirty, 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 dirty. Dirt. <laughs> Sand. We're also trying to clean everything out um, inside. It's a little bit, just a little bit musty from four months being closed. Green mold and dirt. But so far, not too bad. I think I've done what I can do um, in here. I got a lot of the mold out. We have the air conditioning on and all the hatches open. Yeah. Um, just to try to make it a little nicer smelling down there. Just air it out. And it's yeah. definitely smelling better already. Yeah. So the one nice thing is the sun is really our ally here. Like, it's so, so strong. And that's a natural um, sanitation for bacteria and it's, it's kind of great, as you can see. It's yeah. a little bit Beverly Hillbillies, but... I at least got to dingy up the poor deck earlier today and put it back on a dab. It's, I had cleaned it perfectly before we left and waxed it. Of course, it's full of mold, but a little dish soap kind of cleaned it up nicely. You can see up there, there's some wasp nests on the poor deck lights and under the radar dome. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I also found a wasp nest inside the kayak. There's a wasp nest, which that'll be interesting. I'm not gonna get to that one either. Um, it's gonna take us a few weeks to get this all cleaned up, but we'll be okay. sure all the systems work on the boat. Um, I went through and checked the windlass, that's working. Uh, next big one is the engine. Hasn't been started in four months, so I'm kind of anxious about that one. I just checked the oil level, I checked the coolant level, I checked the belts to make sure everything's good, and I'm about to go try to fire her up. Fingers crossed, let's go. And while I'm at it, I might as well check the nav instruments. Click. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Pretty good, that was pretty fast. Good old engine, Tom. Got water. All right, let's try this thing. So, so far on my list of things to fix are the bow light is out, the steaming light is out, and our hot water tank rusted out. So, well, it's hour one. And uh, already found one issue. It seems like our hot water tank has run a leak, our hot water heater. So I'm just gonna bypass it for now because we can't build water pressure and it's just leaking all my water, so. And it's a pretty old tank. Yeah. Um, no idea why leaving it for four months, four months would do this though. I knew there'd be hell to pay. Bill used spare hose and fittings to bypass the heater so we can still have pressurized water until it can be replaced. So it's definitely something in the hot water heater leaking. And in the meantime, we'll rely on the marina for hot showers. <clears throat> All right, mission accomplished one. Now we gotta get a new hot water heater, though. This thing's like a thousand dollars, too. Great. Great. Over the next couple of days, we wash off the layers of mold and dirt on Calico Sky's deck, and the sun dries out our soggy lines. We stow away the goodies we brought back with us from the U.S. and clean out the garage, or quarter berth, while we're at it. So 
one of the things I have to contend with coming back to the boat is um, wasp nest of all things. We actually, so I found three of them so far. I haven't checked inside the sail cover yet. Um, there's two on the mast and one in our kayak. I'll show you the ones that we have on the mast. One there. One there. Two there, actually. I got some wasp gray walls in town. I need 24 hours to clear it, clear the nest out. So, you're doing the, the kayak first? Yeah, that's the easier one. We've been told the breed of wasp we've got is particularly nasty and to exercise extreme caution with them. Just lowering the dinghy to prevent the spray from getting on the hypoan, which is the material the dinghy is made out of, because we don't. There's this guy. Oh, there. Oh, there's a bunch there. Four in there. Four wasps in yeah. there? No, four wasps in there. Oh. Wanna see? Eek. Wish me luck on this one. Careful, don't get too close. They should die instantaneously. Ready? Don't try this at home, kids. So this one is the one that's under the radar dome. I might, so these I might knock off while I'm up there. They're, they seem empty. Let's see what comes out. Okay. You might need to hand me a boat hook. I don't want to get too close to it. Okay. I can't take a boat hook up with me, though. Okay. There's one right there, though. Ooh, that's a while. <laughs> You're a little rusty. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since you climbed the mast. Huh. You're kind of moving the boat a lot. Yep. I'm really scared. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see any wasps in there, though. I think we might run two in there. I see them. There's definitely one on the radar, don't you? That one was the one on the spreader, and now he's <laughs> going for the radar down. Sorry, bees. Or wasps, I mean. Look what I just found. So this container I just took out of here, which is my grain center. <laughs> I saw this like brown stuff on the inside of the container and when you look closely, you can see they're actually little tiny weevils. I learned a long time ago to keep pasta and any any grain, anything opened in a container um, because if there's anything inside that item, egg-wise, um, that can be born and grow, then you at least want to contain it. This is a perfect example where there was a bug in this oatmeal and gave birth to an entire colony. I don't even want to open it. I have to clean it though because I like this container. Um, yeah, we'll open it. Oof, I'm scared. So freaking gross. Ugh. They're crawling around. If they were in this container, they would be all over the boat. Just living their best life in our boat and I would have to um, clean it out in a really hard area to reach. These things are very deep and narrow, so that's why I keep everything in containers. Um, and Ziploc bags are not good enough because they can chew through Ziploc bags, so everything has to be in containers. I'm glad they're confined, but it's pretty gross. I'm gonna like, I think I'm gonna clean this outside with the hose. So. Next up is tackling the broken steaming light. 
Bill tests the connection for continuity, and it's fine, but it's reading at 5 volts instead of 12, so he cleans the contacts with a wire brush, which happily solves the problem. The task list continues with testing out the generator, removing another wasp nest we found since we removed the other ones. See where it is? No. Oh well, that one looks a little rabbit. Yeah. And recommissioning the dinghy. just notified us that our box is here. Um, I'm trying to get my shoes on. I'm not 100% sure it's our box yet. Because I don't know, the name he mentioned of what he was dropping off was not my name, so. Oh. And the guy didn't text us, so. We'll ah. see. It's very strange. This is fun. <laughs> on Christmas Day, we have like a lot of cool stuff coming here. Some stuff coming from the U.S. of A. Wind instruments, sharp piles bottles, of stuff. Beach towel that we couldn't fit in our luggage. You have food in there, probably. We're so extra like that. That's the reality of cruising. Not as sustainable as we would like to be. Hi. What's that? It's yeah, is it super heavy? That's then it's ours. I'm pretty sure it's us. Yeah, oh, William Heaton, there we go. I just want to make sure. Wow, the tape survived. I'm surprised this thing made it here. <laughs> you would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. Well, there we go. This box is about to lose it, huh? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it does look like it's it sort of like just had enough tape on it. <laughs> You think we just made this one? Not too bad. Well, it's 106 pounds, right? Oh, it's <laughs> Having Walter drop off the moon. I was gonna say that. No dinghy true. ride for us. <laughs> oh, it's it's a lot of things. We just we uh, we just need the Amazon. I got it. Thank you, buddy. Multi-electron. Need it. No. That was true. Nima. I know where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> where it goes. Join us next time when we install all the new goodies for Calico Skies that came in this massive box, including our new chart plotter. We put the new one in our nav pod in the cockpit. and repurpose the old one that still partially functions in our nav station down below. When I also 
put on a crazy wire that'll harm my wire. So all I did is this was the in, this was the out. I had this little bit of hope. Oh! I'm just gonna blow this way. Okay, downwind. Then yeah, I'm gonna go over here. Kind of far, huh? We have a YouTube channel.